Okay guys, so with everybody staying at home because of this whole circuit breaker situation, um, I've been spending way too much time on YouTube, more so than anybody else because I don't really have a job. One good thing that's come out of it is that I've been able to discover a couple of Singaporean YouTube channels which are not that popular yet, but they are constantly putting out content and so I thought I'd create a list to kind of like um, introduce you guys to them and for all of you who are at home, maybe if you have nothing to do during your free time, you can just check them out, some new content to, to explore and if you like them and you want to support some local YouTube channels then you can just go and subscribe to them. Uh. I've separated them out into four categories. Um, the first one is homes, uh, the second is content creators, the third one is comedy and the last one is uh, kind of like a, a bonus category for you guys so you have to stay to the end to find out what that category is. Yes, I have to do this because YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yes, so jumping into the very first category, we have homes. Okay, the reason why I call this homes is really because these people are kind of like creating channels that invite you into their home in some sense, um, but it's not exactly for just um, interior design and things like that. They also share quite a lot about their own lives, so they are kind of like personality slash home themed content creators, right? So the very first channel is this channel called Thoughtworthy Co. Uh, they're a Singaporean couple who moved into a, ho uh, a new home together and they decided to apply a very minimalistic approach to it. In Singapore, I, I don't think you see many apartments like this. The way that they approached it and the way they have created their YouTube channel as well, the aesthetics of it is very, very clean, very nice. So it's a very soothing kind of channel. Yeah, chill vibes, chill vibes. Very good, very good. And one of their videos even got like two, almost two million views already, okay? That's, that's quite crazy. Infinitidy, I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so Infinitidy is a YouTube channel that's created by a girl and she's basically showing you how to uh, DIY certain things at home and she shows you her, her home, her, her, the whole process of her creating the home that she lives in, which is a Singaporean four room flat apartment if I'm not wrong. Um, and there's also a very cute dog, her dog called Momo if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so. That's an interesting website and she even has a blog attached to that also. So you can go and check it out for tips and tricks and DIYs and all these kind of things. Very useful stuff, I would say. Okay, so for the next category, which is content creators, I'm going to be featuring two YouTubers. The first one is YK. YK is a photographer that's very, very popular on Instagram already. Um, and he, dis he decided to venture into videos as well. So. This is him doing videos. I think it's very interesting. He has a very unique eye for things. And if you like those kind of like cinematic whoosh whoosh travel videos and stuff like that, then you should go and check him out. And next we have uh, QH Ventures, which is basically my friend. I'm just doing this to give him a shout out so you can go and check out his YouTube channel. Um, he helped me with my Shanghai travel video. And he's also a content creator slash photographer on Instagram as well as on YouTube. He's been putting out a bit more content and I'm using this as a nudge to get him to continue producing more content on a regular basis on YouTube. Yeah, so check these two guys out, very talented people. If you're interested, you can follow them on both YouTube and Instagram as well, go and check out their photos. Okay, so the next category is comedy and we have two YouTubers in this category. The first one is gonna be Sneaky Sushi. So this guy has been creating content quite consistently, actually very consistently for I, I think maybe about a year or so. Um, quite interesting stuff, quite funny. He's basically trolling most of the time on the internet, doing reaction videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's quite funny, you can check him out. So the next guy is called YOLO. Um, he got popular recently because of a series of videos he did where he reacted to Singapore social and he watched the video so that you didn't have to kind of thing like yeah So he basically just did commentary on every episode which I thought was pretty funny But actually he has a lot of other stuff that he's already been doing which is very very good So you should go and check him out. Uh, his execution style is very different. It's a very deadpan style which I which I enjoy and He also does memes and stuff like that. So it's pretty funny. Yeah, you should check him out. Definitely check him out Okay, so the last category which is the surprise one is actually <laughs> stocks Okay, um, stocks because I don't know why, okay? But now is the time for, if you're interested in learning about stocks and whatnot, then this is a good resource for you lah. Um, but, okay, I if actually last year I was already looking into stocks already and I found this YouTube channel called Rainer Teo, this guy. He is a Singaporean who has been consistently uploading good quality 
videos, okay? Good quality, educational and informational content that's all to do with stocks, okay? Um, he already has 300,000, I think more than 300,000 uh, followers on YouTube, but um, I just really wanted to give him a shout out because I think that he's doing a very, very good job online. I hope that this list was interesting. Uh, if you already know of these guys, then I'm sorry, I guess this is a useless fucking video. But um, for everyone else, I hope this helps. I hope that you found somebody that you are interested in or a new YouTube channel that you can subscribe to. If not, um, introduce me to some YouTube channels. Intr YouTube channels that um, you think are good. If they're Singaporean, even better. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, if not, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess the end. <laughs>